Welcome back, you dingoes. Backs are against the wall right now. We are 0-3. We've had a terrible start to the year. My security says safe for now, but obviously fans are not happy with BJ Hale at the moment. However, I am confident going into this game. We gotta turn it around, and we gotta make some changes if we're gonna start winning football games. I'm gonna try to mix it up on defense. I'm switching over to a 3-4, just to see if it'll help us out, because we've had an, an atrocious defense to start the year. Now is a good time for me to let you know that this video is brought to you by Manscaped. But we'll hear more from their glorious below the waist grooming products at halftime. Catching up with UGF for those that are curious, the Pandas are now number 22 in the country. They are undefeated. They beat Clemson by one point, so that's a good victory for them. They've got North Carolina, who's number 10. Virginia and Miami still left to go on their schedule. They still got some tough games on their schedule, so we'll pop in and out and see how they're doing throughout the year. Others oh, receiving votes. We got the Dingoes out here, the ones that haven't won a game yet. I didn't think so. Oh, baby, we got eight people ready to visit. Darius Harrell is going to be a tough recruit to get. This guy would be an amazing dual threat quarterback, something I value highly. We have the ability to schedule him on the latest visit possible. I always try to decide if I should do that because if we wait too long, maybe he'll get committed before then. But also you get the maximum amount of points the longer you wait. I'm just going to bite the bullet. We're going to throw him last week of the season against Boise State. We're going to do the same with the punter. He looks like he's going to take forever to commit. Holy buckets, a plus eight recruit, and his name is Chris Davis. Here goes Davis. Oh my God, Auburn's going to win the football game. This guy looks like a beast, a dual threat quarterback with 88 speed. He can play defense as well. Holy buckets, we got ourselves another recruit we can get. We're playing Hawaii in this episode. They absolutely obliterated us last year. They scored 63 points on our butts. Not only that, we are 0-3 on the season. So we've been more motivated now than we've ever been. They've got a better defense. It doesn't matter. I'm dropping at least 40 points on y'all's head. You know why? Because we are about to go wear our highlighter jerseys. No one's going to be able to stop us with this. It's our good luck charm. We have one of the worst rushing attacks in the country, but one of the best passing offenses. I think we're actually going to switch that around. I'm going to focus on running the football in this game because we got to limit our turnovers if we want to win games at my interceptions that I throw all the time, especially in the red zone. I was checking out that stat earlier. We have a 53% red zone percentage. That is terrible. All the way out in Hawaii for this game. We played them here last year. There is nobody here to watch this game because it was an absolute blowout last year. Everyone's doubting us. They're expecting us to be terrible because we are 0-3. To be honest, I think we've had up and down games. Like, we've played well, we've just made some dumb mistakes and missed opportunities in big moments. There's still a good football team out here. We just gotta play smart, and we're gonna get the wins. Blaze Burles has been absolutely horrific on kickoffs this season. Please give me a good one to start this game. Jesus, five mile per hour wins behind you and you still can't do it. They've got the ball near midfield just because of that. We have got to get a new kicker next year. We've got one of the worst rush defenses in the country. Please shut him down today. Oh, we trip him up. Let's go. That was pure luck. D.D. Rogers stumbling past the old lineman and somehow tripped him up. Quickly throwing that one out of bounds. That's a good start. Let's keep it up. We got a third down. They've got nobody. They're trying to go deep. He's chucking it deep. Get back there, Frisk! Dang it, man. That was a one-on-one -on -one play and you failed us. Just launched that ball up. See that one again. Burks with really no pressure on him. We've been terrible at getting to the quarterback this year. And then the coverage was enough to deflect it away. Coach ain't too thrilled with that. We don't want another high-scoring ball game, boys. Nothing is open. I tell you, nothing! Oh, I swear if he would have completed that. Knew was going to this side. Get there. Nice wrap up, Logan Pogue. Nothing's open. Come on, guys. Hold it down. Frisk again. We need some more pressure on the quarterback, man. We've had the coverage, but when he turns around, he just beats Frisk all day. I'm switching up my cornerbacks. Seth Burton, you take over that guy. He can't allow him to keep beating us. Throwing this one out the back. Good coverage. Going to be a quarterback keeper. Get out there. Alex King can't tackle him. There's Cameron tipped in the safety. Hand off. Get out there, lads. Let's go, Alex King. Saving the touchdown on the goal line. AK-47 does it again. No, we don't have 
the people there. Crap, we hold them down to a fourth and goal, and then they punch it in. That is very frustrating. We've given up a staggering like 90% to opposing teams in the red zone. And this has got to stop if we want to win games. Oklahoma over Texas. They are now 5-0. Not like it matters for us because we haven't won a game yet. Well, this is going to be a very good return. Great cut. Good block. Gets around him. Can he go all the way? Back-to-back -back games? No, he gets dragged down by his shoelaces. Adrian Felix, almost another kick return. Something I'm switching up this game. We're going to have a lot of John Evans at quarterback, especially in the read option game. we got to protect the football, and running it is the best way to do that. Oh, JT Martinez throwing off one guy. Not bad. See, look at that. He is just driving his way forward, making something out of nothing. This is four down territory for me. Give me the block. Spin move. That didn't work. We got a fourth and one. Looks like it's QB sneak time. I'm not taking a field goal. He's got it and a lot more. First down, Dingoes. Heck yeah, I thought he's... There we go, John Evans. Give him the block. Oh, come on, 87. Matthew Paul, you got to hold that one a little bit longer. John Evans has our best arm at quarterback, but because of his awareness being a wide receiver so low, I can't call audible. So whatever I call is what I got to stick to. We got the tight end, Chris McAvoy. First touchdown of his career. Perfectly run drive for the Dingoes. Set up by the great kick return from Adrian Felix. No turnovers today, boys. We're going to put up big numbers. Thankfully, we don't have Blaze Bortles in kicking this extra point. That would be devastating. See, look at that. Straight down the middle. It's that easy, Blaze. Take notes. LSU over Florida. They are 3-2, and two, but look at them getting that SEC bias still in the top 25. Let's go in his running back. Push him out. Okay, he'll run out of bounds by himself. Sending some extra pressure here. We have got to get to the quarterback. Oh, that's D.D. Rogers, man. We pushed him out, but they get the first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. Hughes is all over that one. A guy who did not get a lot of playing time last year. But he's having a good game so far. Nobody's open again. Throwing this one out. Frisky almost got burned again. I saw that. Surely they're going to be throwing it here on third down. I'm going to kind of roam around with D.D. Rogers. Try to get an interception or something. Oh, we hit the quarterback. That's hitting the dirt. Finally, we got some pressure on the QB. Great coverage from everybody. This is one of the few punts we forced all year. I Finally, we did it, man. Took us forever. Let that one go. Nice. Keeping this simple game plan. Hopefully we can stick to it and win. Gets the screen away. Oh my goodness. I threw that a little bit too early. There we go. These are looking like some good blocks. What a spin move. John Evans. Holy crap. There is that superstar ability that I like to see. This is all you, Martinez. Shoving a guy off. Let's go. This one's going to be going to Adrian Felix. Just enough for the first. That should take us to the second quarter. Oh. <laughs> Read option's not going to work forever. That one's a loss of two. I should have thrown that to square. He's still open. Completes the pass to J.R. Miller. Fantastic throw across his body to the open man in the middle of the field. Excellent job, Dean Young. I'm really liking it. Like, if we just limit the passes to, like, whenever we have open space, then we'll be Gucci. We got first down. Davis nearly picked off. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the run before I throw a pick. That's a dud of a play. Oh, Christian Herzner almost got that one. I really didn't see a lot open there. I'm not a huge fan of doing this, but since it's a tie ball game, I'm actually going to punt it. I swear. Blaze Bortles, give me a good one. It's been a rough season for you. Full power. That'll do it if we can get some coverage on it. Ah, oh, D.D. Rogers, bad angle. Dang it. Almost back to where we kicked it. Another wasted punt. That's why I debate sometimes why, whether we should punt at all. It's just so inconsistent. Blast him. Oh, no. 
Tripped up my own guy with that terrible hit stick. They've got great field position now. Way to stop and get him, Frisk. That's the best play you've had all day. That's what I'm talking about, Antoine Goodwin. Getting in the backfield, shutting down that run from the beginning. Converted quarterback showing out and contributing to the team any way he can. Oh, that one's deflected at the line. Who was that one? I don't know, but heck of a play. Gonna have to hold him to a field goal here, which is good. Defense is starting to develop a little bit. Oh, he... <gasps> Did we tip that one? He barely got that one. Wow. That's, that's inches. That is a game of inches. Give us a good return here, Adrian Felix. We need it. Not a bad one. Past the 30. I'll take it. Okay, Seth Burton the corner. Oh, got tackled by his ankles. I'm going to him. John Evans, of all people, drops the football. What is going on with our team this year? Because he is our best player, on at least at receiver, and he just shouldn't drop those. That stinks. Oh, so much for a punt. I mean, like, I guess we have to punt it since we're so deep in our own territory. And it's a fourth and 11. This sucks. Oh, absolutely abysmal. But it's going to get a good roll at least. Way to pin him down there, Easton Gorman. We got pressure on him. Frisk can't tackle him. Cameron tipped him, pops him. That's you, Antoine Goodwin. Jesus, these blocks are tough to get by. He's going across the middle. Antoine Goodwin. Thankfully, Logan Pogue is there. Our tackling has been doo-doo. I'm going to go to conservative tackling. Across the middle, D.D. Rogers, he's there, but that's enough for the first. There we go. When we know it's going to be a run, at least we're shutting it down. No, he's not open, but he's going across the middle. He's got a block. Wow. They're embarrassing us on those kind of plays. Pop him. I got oh wait, that's a fourth and inches. Sweet, I'll take it. They're gonna go for it here. Surely they'll get it. It's not very far, but I'm gonna send the house. They're trying to draw us off sides. That's a false start. Move him back. Trying to do too much, Hawaii. Push him back. We got our boy back there, Adrian Felix, to return if this one is short. Oh, he's right on top of it. We got the return set up and ready to go. Come on, Adrian Felix. Not able to get past him. But that counts as a turnover, which gets us XP. 42 seconds. We have all three timeouts. Cross the middle. Matthew Paul. I'm going to go ahead and call a timeout. What the heck? Adrian Felix broke his toe and he will return soon? What? I see X. Matthew Paul, beautiful catch. I want to touch down here. I'm not trying to tie the game. Quickly got squared. Picked off again because he overthrew him. You were out of your mind, Dean Young. Another blown opportunity. That should be an easy throw. He's wide open. Just overthrew him. So disappointing. Like, at what point are we going to have to have John Evans thrown to himself out here? Oh, that should have been a pick. Logan Pogue right there. Oh, he overthrew that one. So everybody's making bad throws on both sides of the ball. Across the middle. Just bring him down, please. We don't want any field goals or anything. Oh, how do we not get him? Jesus. We're hitting the quarterback, but we can't sack him. Come on, D.D. Rogers. He hits the quarterback, but now they're in field goal range. I can't use their everybody out here, guys. Somebody... Please make a play. Everybody back up. Maybe the CPU will be stupid and run out of clock or something. They got three seconds. They're snapping the ball. Just tackle them. That'll be the end of the half. They made a bonehead move. Either way, we had a missed opportunity. We should be leading this game right now or at least tied it. We're not out of this game yet. We can still win. But now that it's halftime, let's hear from our sponsor, Manscaped. Exciting news, my dudes. Manscaped is now carried in Target nationwide. Not only that, but Manscaped.com now features a brand new subscription plan called the Replenishment Pack. 
On this plan, you will receive a replacement blade for the amazing Lawnmower 2.0 and free gifts. This month, they sent me the plow, which is exceptional for getting a smooth, close shave down under. You can also get the best deal available on their site, exclusive access to new product offerings and special promotions. Oh, and did I mention shipping is totally free on all replenishment packs. You also have the ability to choose individual products if you wish. I highly recommend the legendary Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. It's one of my favorite products. In fact, I ordered a new batch for myself just the other day. On top of all this, you can get 20% off these great deals if you use my coupon code NTE20. Once again, that's code NTE20 for 20% off your purchase. Manscaped, refining the gentleman. We just have not had a great offense. I I'm trying my best to not turn the ball over, but sometimes my quarterbacks just make inaccurate throws. Oh, oh, I thought he was going to break away from that. This guy is unbelievably good. Here we go. Beautiful cut, John Evans. Let's go. Keep running. Just a safety left. Stiff arming him. Holy crap, we got a first in goal. What a big play from John Evans. We're sticking with the read option the rest of this game because nothing else seems to work for us. I am not throwing the ball in the red zone, not with how inconsistent our players have been. We're handing this one off to JT Martinez and he's going to pound it in. Or at least get it centered or something. At least it's not a turnover. This play has been awesome for us this season. John Evans, get you a rushing touchdown, lad. Here we go. Jet sweep. Cuts it in. What the heck? We got two yards out of that. That's not all we wanted. It's going to be a keeper for Dean Young. Come on, get there. Throws a man off. Touchdown, Dingoes. John Evans was too tired to play in the game, so we've got in Dean Young. They get old 6'4 quarterback pounding his way in for a touchdown. God, we got conservative tackling. We still can't get him down. Blaze Bortles has to bring him down at the midfield logo. This is downright embarrassing. Oh, that should have been Cameron Tipton. I was trying to user it. That's an option play. We're there. That's Logan Pogue. He's been excellent today. J.R. Miller getting beat. Cameron Tipton laying him out. They're going to get the first down. At least make him pay for it. Ooh, got rolled over on the center. Logan Pogue again. Everybody's going to this side. Seth Burton whiffed. Thankfully, Alex King can tackle. Oh, we're there. Come on. Thank you, Logan Pogue. He is the one who's been carrying us on this drive. Five tackles, four of them for loss. Up the middle. Cameron Tipton. What the heck? It's a toss play. Oh, he went off his own guy. That screwed him up. It's a fourth and four. They're going to take the points here. Excellent, excellent stop from the Dingoes. Kick is up and it's good. We still have a one-point lead. Can't waste it. Let's get some more points on the board. Hand off JT Martinez. He's got the blocks. Boom in his way. Third and one. We got this easy. John Evans getting four yards on the QB sneak. He's almost got 100 on the game. Oh, this looks like a great run for JT Martinez. Look at the linebackers. They're not ready for it. Good run. Clipping. What? What are we doing? I'm trying to scramble. Okay, I see you square. No, R1. Oh my god, hit the freaking computer in the face. Give him a chance. John Evans can't catch this one. Passing offense has been non-existent. Oh, we're going to get sacked. We just can't do anything in the passing game. Well, I'm not a freaking madman. I know Blaze Bortles has been terrible in punting, but who goes for it on 4th and 28 in a game like this with the scoreline at this? Not me. That one actually wasn't too bad. He's going to call a fair catch. I'll take it. I'll take it. Been kind of a stressful game, but it's we still got the lead. We're holding on to it. We got this. I'm not worried. Oh, it's a keeper. Come on, Seth Burton. You're my best recruit, and you still can't tackle. Over D.D. Rogers' head. What a throw. If that was me, I'd be way too scared to throw that ball, but he put that one on the money. It has been an ugly game, but we're still winning somehow. This is going to be an intense fourth quarter. Dingoes are going to come out on top. 
Going to his running back. We're there. Get there, Seth. What in tarnation was that? Good lord, man. I mean, that's my user, I guess, so you can blame me, but still, it looks ugly. Get to him. Oh, he threw to the wide open, man. Touchdown, Hawaii. I went all in on the run up the middle, and it backfired. They're taking the lead here in the fourth quarter. It's okay, though. I'm not sweating. We're going to win this game. Ah, the slant. Seth Burton, come on, man. You're a four-star. Play like it. We've got a lot of time left on the clock, and the, the passing attack has just not been there, so we're going to run the football. Good stuff. I'll take that. I can't see anything. Good thing Christian Herzner had to play defense right there. That was a dumb pass. There we go. You got it, John Evans. Good cut. Is he? Does he have enough? Fourth and inches. I'm going for it. I accidentally called a fullback dive, but I know we can get it done. D.D. Rogers. It's just a few inches. He's got enough, and he's still going. Still a lot of running lanes for Martinez. I'll take four yards on first. Take off. They not got it. They don't have anybody in the middle. Diving down. What the heck? Got to be more safe than that, John Evans. I would have been furious if you would have fumbled. We got first down Davis in. Basically like a run here, picking up three yards on a quick pass to the flats. Across the middle. First down Davis again. Back-to-back -back plays. He's still going. What a catch and run. I'm trying to hurry up a little bit here because we are kind of running out of time. And we got to get the football back if we want to score and win. Good juke, Martinez. What a spin, Adrian Felix. Okay, they're catching on to the read option. We got to change it up. Quickly over to the tight end, and he drops it. Fourth and four. Christian Herzner. He's cutting up. He's spinning around. He's got a touchdown for the Dingoes. We're barely holding on by our butt cheeks, but we're in this game, and we're coming for the victory. Not trying to play any fancy games here. Just give me the extra point so we can tie the game. I trust in my defense to get us the ball back. Kick is up. It's through. Okay, we're safe for now. Holy, what a kick. Finally going into the end zone. He's going to nail it down. Awesome. Oh, he's going to the flats. Frisk is there. He was about to deflect that out. Now he's going to the flats again. Burton's getting blocked. Cameron tipped in. Nice. Oh, we get the sack. Let's go. D.D. Rogers in the backfield. Get there. D.D. Rogers is on it right as he catches it. Now's the time to nut up or shut up. Third down. If we get this stop, we could win the game. It's a screen pass. J.R. Miller. Going in. We miss. He gets the first. Devastating. Not over yet. They can still blow it. There's not going to be any last second field goals here. I promise you. Hit the quarterback. We're bringing him down. I'm calling a timeout. Second and 16. He's going deep. Frisk is turning around. And he's got the interception. Can we get a big time return? Cutting back. Let's go, Marcus Frisk. He got burned earlier in the game. But that one might win it for us. Clutch interception. And I mean as clutch as it gets. What a beautiful play for Marcus Frisk. The former one-star recruit. We do not have any good kickers, so we have to get down there deep. We got to do it fast. Across the middle. Christian Herzner has got it in great field position. Let's go. What a throw from John Evans. I'm feeling the first victory of the year on the horizon. Sneaking him up on him with a draw play. Martinez, let's keep going. We got two timeouts left to go. To the flats. Oh, let's go, Martinez. Going down, I'm going to call a timeout. 37 seconds to go. Oh, I'm stressed. I'm thinking quickly pick up this first down and then spike it almost immediately. He's got enough. Okay, quickly go on the hurry up. We got to get this spike out. Don't have time to waste. It's down on the ground. Sweet. This is crazy. I can't call any audibles, and it's, it's kind of frustrating. We got B. Matthew Paul, turn up field. Okay, we got no, not much time left. We still got a timeout. If anything, just center the ball. Come on, John Evans. We don't have time for this. 
First down and more. Slide down. Slide down. Be safe. Be safe. Okay, don't blow this, man. Okay, we're going to spike it. We're going to center the football so we can't miss. Because knowing our kickers, we might miss. Spikes it with eight seconds. Okay, cross the middle. Okay. Three. Calling my timeout. Do not miss this kick. Justin Powell, please. The entire game is in your hands. 24-yard field goal. Of course, they're going to ice me. It's not as centered as I would want it to be, but it's the best we're going to get right now. <sighs> Come on, lad. This is so hard, especially he has like 56 accuracy. All we have to do is kick it straight, man. This would be the first victory of the year. We fought so hard for it. Punch it through. Kick is up. He gets it through. Dingoes win their first game of the year. Holy clutchness, man. Marcus Frisk, I am buying you dinner, son. Justin Powell, beautiful kick. John Evans having to step in at quarterback. We get it done in an absolutely insane fashion. ESPN Classic, baby, let's go. Finally, we have won a game this year. We have fought through so much. It feels so good to win. What a sweet victory for the Dingoes. We got it done, baby. We got it done. 24 to 21. If anything this year, man, it has been some crazy close games. It has been a lot of fun for me. Every Dingoes fan has lost like 10 years on their life watching this season. Finally, we got one, though. We needed one really badly. It's been a tough year for us. But let's put it in perspective. Hawaii put 63 points on the board against us last year. We dropped that down to 21. We put up 24, and we're coming out with the victory. John Evans playing quarterback this game. We tried to not throw it that much for a good reason because that is the main way we've turned the ball over this year. But he was great. 8 of 12, 89 yards and two touchdowns. Dean Young, 3 of 9, 47 yards and one pick. And it was a play where he could have completed it easily, but he just overthrew him. Very frustrated with my freshman quarterbacks, but I'm not quitting on him yet. On the ground, it was the John Evans show. 13 attempts, 128 yards. That's an average of 9.8 yards per carry. JT Martinez was pretty good as well. I'm trying to increase his carry totals, but like if John Evans is going off like that, I got to feed him the ball first. Dean Young, he had two attempts, negative two yards, but he got us a touchdown. I'll take it, man. Whatever you can do to help the team. Receiving today, Christian Herzner. Two big catches. Um, they were so clutch. The touchdown and then the deep pass in the fourth quarter with under a minute to go. Set us up in great position. Give me a hug, buddy. You deserve it. How about Chris McAvoy getting his first touchdown of his career in the red zone where we need him most? DD Rogers, a great game. Six tackles, one sack on this game. Shout out to my man Marcus Frisk, though. The interception late near the goal line to get the Dingoes the football back, which jump-started that final drive for us to win. Amazing, man. What a redemption in this one game alone. Logan Pogue also had an amazing performance. Six tackles, five of them for loss, including one QB sack. He is the main reason why we held their running back to like 30-something yards. It was incredible. Justin Powell with a game-winning field goal, too. After our kicking mishap last week with Blaze Bortles, we needed a victory, and Justin Powell got us that. Adrian Felix continues to impress in the kick returns. Five of them this game for 160 yards, including a long of 65. Man, that was a hard-fought battle from our team. I'm so proud of them for going out there and getting that victory. We held them to 18 rushing yards, and we've been one of the worst rushing defenses in the country this year. Glad we changed it around to 3-4. That seems to be way better fit for our personnel. Nail Biter and Honolulu. Evans and the Dingoes are relieved after a near mishap against Hawaii. I wouldn't call it a mishap. I would call it some freaking clutch plays from Marcus Frisk, John Evans, Christian Herzner, Justin Powell, everybody, man. That was a great team effort. Update on recruiting. Looks like we're in some tough battles with people. Joe Brown, our best offensive lineman on our board. We are in a recruiting battle with two schools. Eh, we'll worry about that in next episode. We're one in three now, thanks to that last win over Hawaii. And we are now safe in our contract. Oh, look at that. Corey Williams is number three on the Heisman watch. He continues to ball out. Keep in mind, we did start the year 0-3, but we are 1-0 in the conference. So realistically, we are not out of anything just yet, at least within the conference. Told you guys, the season is still early. We can do a lot of things. And next episode, we will take on the very tough Fresno State Bulldogs. I mean, realistically, I don't think we stand a chance against them, but I am re-energized after that Hawaii game, ready to take on anybody. I'm feeling good, guys. We needed that victory really badly. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to say thank Thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace.
Thank you to Patreon supporters Logan Pogue, Adrian Felix, Derek Rapp, Matt Jesse, Marcus Frist, Kerry Spell, Ryan Henney, Christian Herzner, Dean Young, Matthew Paul, That Epic Tragedy, Marcus Kush, Jamie Jordan, Name Name, Jude Goodman, Cody Spicer, Martin Telsnees, Kenneth Hernandez, Cameron Tipton, Josh Castor, and Brandon Sims. Hey, hey, hey.